Welcome to the Disney Scrapbook. My name is Nolan. I believe that the benefit of Disney Plus is that we are able to revisit some films from Disney history that might have otherwise been forgotten and allow us to see the evolution and growth of various artists. Today, I thought we would analyze one of these films. Hacksaw which was released as a two-part television film on NBC, bookending the opening of Walt Disney World on October 1st, 1971. It was aired on September 26th and on October 3rd, 1971, and was rebroadcast 10 months later on July 9th and 16th, 1972. Hacksaw is both an interesting title for this movie and for the name of a horse, possibly referring to how a hacksaw did not originally cut smoothly and is now a narrow, fine tooth blade held under tension used for cutting metal, possibly referring to the progression of the horse's training in the story. However, when you see the title, it does not initially make you think of an adventure film about a horse that is set in the Canadian wilderness. The film was written and directed by American producer, director, and screenwriter Lawrence Muddy Landsberg, a two-time Oscar winner recognized for his films featuring animals. He was a fervent equestrian known for filming on horseback which served as a judge at the American Royal Horse Show. He was the cameraman on Walt Disney's Goodwill Tour of South America for President Roosevelt in 1941. He was named a Disney legend in 1998. A wilderness guy, Tim Andrews, set out to catch and tame the legendary wild horse, Hacksaw, who makes his home in the Canadian Rockies. When a beautiful, over-eager tourist arrives who is just as passionate about rounding up the wild horse, Tim is even more inspired to capture the stallion. Hacksaw refuses to have anybody on his back and is at first used as a pack horse before going on to compete as the lead horse in Chuck Wagon racing at the Calvary Stampede. There were some interestingly angled shots in the cinematography of this film, along with some stunning scenery shots of Wilma, British Columbia, Canada. The movement of the horses is captured well, and the whole film demonstrates the spectacular photography that didn't quite itself on with reminiscence of the True Life Adventure series. The tall, blonde, Blue-eyed teenage idol from the 1950s, Tab Hunter, played the wilderness guide, Tim Andrews. Born Arthur Andrew Kelm, he was renamed Tab Hunter by his agent, Henry Wilson. His first film role was in 1950, and he had a number one hit record with Young Love in 1957. He was a long-standing horse owner and breeder who often used his own horses when shooting films. In this film, Tab Hunter acts as the glue that holds this film together, along with the narrator and rancher, played by Ray Teal. They both do well with the lines, but unfortunately some of the minor characters sound rather stilted. The versatile actor Ray Teal was best known for his role as Sheriff Roy Coffey in the hit television western series Bonanza. This film does not possess the greatest delivery of dialogue, but if you enjoy watching ski drawing, chuck wagon racing, and general horse capers, this film is a fun watch with some spectacular scenery and some clever camera work. Although Hacksaw is now available on Disney Plus and the majority of other digital streaming services, there was never any physical media release.
Thanks everybody for watching this video analysis. If you would like to watch Hacks of Yourself, it's available on iTunes, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Google Play, and of course, Disney Plus. If you like this type of 50th anniversary content, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will be reviewing the film Bed Knobs and Broomsticks on December 13th along with its LPs. Also, I will be producing other 50th anniversary content throughout the fall that will include both park content and Disneyland record album reviews. Thanks everybody for watching. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.